Hello, it's your girl Chidera, aka Vibes with Adoibo, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A about the City College of New York. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, and if you're attending, thank you for watching my videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end. So, this video is going to be in parts. This is going to be part one. I'm going to be answering a few of the questions that I got specifically from the freshmen. So what I did was I reached out to the CCNY class of 2024 Instagram page and I asked the person running the page to do a poll and their story asking, you know, the class of 2024, what kind of questions they had about my school. Um, I'm going to be looking at my iPad because that's where I wrote the questions down. So the first question is, how is the parking at CCNY? So personally, I don't drive to school. I take the train, but I did check on the school's website and it said there's no day parking for students. And that means that the people who do drive, they park on the street. But you know, it's kind of iffy because if you have an 8 a.m. class and you drive to school, that's around the time that the road has to get cleaned. So, you know, you, you kind of run into the risk of not having anybody to move your car so i would advise you know if you can take tra public transport to school just do that the second question is is there a virtual campus tour yes there actually is i will put the link in the description box but the virtual when you sign into your my city page you should see a link to the virtual campus tour on there as well so you know you can just Kind of tour the campus because obviously right now unfortunately you're not going to be able to tour the campus with the whole thing going on if you didn't already have the opportunity earlier in the year next question how was your first year at city college honestly it was great it was actually great obviously before the whole pandemic thing um i'm a freshman this is my second semester. I would say my first semester actually went great. I made some new friends, joined some new clubs. I'm currently part of the undergraduate student government. I'm actually a senator. I also joined my school's African Students Association so I can make it meet other Africans because I am Nigerian. Um, it was good. I don't have any complaints at all, except the fact that Corona kind of ruined it, but I had some good good teachers. I learned new stuff. Honestly, it was it was it was it was good. It was good. Next question: When do you begin to schedule your classes? First, you schedule your classes after academic planning day. If you don't know what academic planning day is, this is the day when you go to school and it's like it's kind of like orientation, but not really because they're just focused on you getting to know how the school curriculum is so an academic planning day on my time in my time we met with our advisors at the specific school that we got into you know how there's the school of liberal arts Grove school of engineering you would meet with the advisor in that school and they would help you um register for your classes and also i got admitted into city college late so the only thing I kind of attended was academic planning and the online orientation. Some people told me that there was an uh, there was another orientation earlier in June, but I wasn't admitted in yet, so I didn't get the opportunity to do that. Next question: How do you deal with bad professors, uh, like ones who aren't thorough or helpful? So I have been lucky; I haven't had any bad professors per se. But an advice I would give to you is to go to tutoring. If you have a professor who isn't really helpful, you should make use of office hours. And I think that should be a good way to help you. Also, make sure you use Rate My Professors when you're picking your classes, because that's a good way to find out the professors who are actually really helpful. Because if you, if you, if you search I Rate My Professor and the professor has a high rating, that way you would know, oh, I'm going to choose this person as my teacher for my class. But if you're not lucky enough to 
maybe you register for classes late and all the good professors are already taken and you end up with someone who has a lower rating just you know have a positive mind going into the class it will be tough um but i think office hours are really helpful i do attend office hours even though my professors are good because that's just a way to learn more stuff that you might not know that they might not have explained in the class and also form a relationship because later on you will need like recommendation letters and stuff so how are you going to get that if you don't know any teachers? So yeah, office hours and tutoring are the ways that you can deal with bad professors. So that's where I will be living off today. I did say that this is going to be a series kind of video. So part two will be up next week, Thursday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you can be notified when I post and give this video a thumbs up and comment any other questions that you might have. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Thursday.